Out in the tundra region, two beasts emerge from the blinding snow as they scour for the concealed food. The pair consists of a majestic caribou and a cunning arctic fox. Suddenly, the caribou brings up a trivial question. Okay, arctic fox, you've been following me since the last patch of blackout, which was six miles back. What's your problem? Hey now, I'm just trying to find food. You know all that the small mammals appear when you dig just a bit down the soil when you're looking for leggings. Alright, but if you give me the slightest of scratches, I will buck you up so bad. Okay, I get it. And plus, I prefer smaller prey like bulls and owls. It's a tough time right now. Mm-hmm, sure. So I'm counting on you, and only you, to dig up all that snow and a tab in the soil so I can find those significant treats. Wait, hold on a sec. Why me? And why do I have to dig for you? You only because I don't see any other caribou around and I'll dig after you dig just a little dirt, alright? Fine, as long as I get those tasty lichens. Cool, it's a deal. Now go forth and march into those snowy, barren lands. Jeez, so pushy. I'm not pushy, I'm just hungry. As they continue to trudge along the snow, Caribou exclaims something to Arctic Fox. Look, on the distance, there are a few patches of shrubs. Where? There might be some bulls there. Darn, I can't see anything. Probably because you're too short to see it. Be quiet and keep moving. When they reach the shrubs, Arctic Fox gets to the area first and impatiently waited for Caribou. Let's look around these patches. There might be some lightnings for me. Or some bulls. Man, I don't care for bulls or any other mammals, really. As soon as Caribou dug around the area, he finds a larger amount of lichens than he would normally find. So for Caribou, this meant a feast. As for Arctic Fox, however, notice something very peculiar. Something very interesting. Did you see that movement? Or is it just me? Huh? Sorry, I was too busy eating these delightful lichens. Unlike you, standing there, looking hungry. What Arctic Fox just noticed was a small flicker of a bull's tail. So, as Arctic Fox continued to look for it again, he cautiously prowls to the spot. As he neared the spot, he hears a small squeal and his expression gleefully lit up. He began to dig and dig and dig until finally he uncovers a family of bulls and grinned hungrily. Jackpot! Look at how many bulls there are! And this will affect me because it does not affect you at one bit. I just like to express myself. Soothe yourself. I'll just go back to my likings now. After that day, the two animals became so-called business associates. Until, however, Caribou ditched Arctic Fox because Caribou was utterly going insane from the hunger-driven, non-stop talking Arctic Fox. As for Arctic Fox, he found another business partner. Hello.